G'day ladies and gents, Ozzy Starcraft here bringing you some more IEM World Championship action. Today in the bottom central location of Polar Night, a little bit hidden by the drone icon there, but it's going to be EG's Jadong. The top central location is our Blue to Protoss player and Jadong's team member, it's going to be EG's JYP. So if you're not familiar with JYP, he's an excellent Protoss player, so we should be in for a killer Protoss vs Zerg series. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, the IM World Championship replay pack is available. They've released all of the replays just a few days ago. So if you had any favourite moments from IEM that uh, you'd like us to cast here on the channel, by all means, send us an email through to aussiestarcraftreplays at gmail.com and uh, we'd be happy to cast those for you. Now, uh, mo most Protoss vs. Uh, games open fairly similarly. Of course, Protoss have a number of sort of diverse diverse openings they can pick from, but most of them fall into a category of either some early uh, stalker slash zealot pressure, or they go for some sort of century immortal timing uh, designed to hit the Zerg, Zerg's third base and cripple the Zerg economy. So uh, lot, lots of openings available to the Protoss player. The Zerg player generally forms a more reactionary role in this matchup, trying to defend and get to a critical sort of macro mass that allows them to roll over the Protoss player's army and uh, subsequently his base. So we'll see uh, what these two players have in store. Jadong finally moving out to take what looks like a hatch first opening here. But uh, seeing that JYP's actually not built anything in his base, looks like... I, I don't believe it. Jadong's actually going to th throw down his hatch in his in his opponent's uh, natural expansion. So JYP had 400 minerals saved to throw that nexus down, but when Jadong saw that nothing had been put down, actually throwing down his own hatch there. So JYP going to be reacting with a gateway here and going to continue chrono boosting out probes as now his tech will be quite delayed. A delay that's that's sort of acceptable when you can when you consider the fact that you have a massively boosted economy from going gateway first. But uh, certainly, certainly a bit of a risky move now that both his tech and his economy will be seriously delayed. Looks like JYP is going to throw down, a can throw down a forge for some cannons as well, and we'll see. It looks like this probe's actually heading behind the natural min li mineral line, so it looks like JYP here looking to return the favour. Jadong robbed him of his natural. Looks like he plans to do similarly to Jadong here. And uh, we'll see if this works out, but a bit of an odd opening for a Zerg vs Protoss. It s seems like we will see something a little bit different from the norm here. JYP losing a lot of mining time as these workers focus down this hatchery. And it, it does look like they'll get out. I wonder whether Jadong will cancel. Looks like he's actually going to let it complete as, as obviously wants these probes to lose as much mining time as possible. Unfortunately, if they're not careful, they're actually going to take a bit of damage from these broodlings. Will any of them go down? Looks like Jadong's going to focus down one of them there, so manages to get uh, two workers actually with that, so not not a bad move at all. JYP actually going to let the get these cannons up. Jadong looks like he'll let the hatch complete. I imagine once this cannon completes, there it goes. Drone's going to beat a retreat, and a third base has in fact been thrown down. Jadong being careful to try and ensure that a cannon rush doesn't occur at his third as well. Looks like a rather goofy opening from both these players. Jadong finally got his spawning pool down, almost enough gas for Zergling speed. And uh, JYP has to be a little bit careful here. He's, he's not walled off in his main base, obviously is intending to wall off at his natural, having taken that nexus. But uh, JYP trying to adapt here. We've got another another pylon going down. Cybercore almost finished up. And uh, Jadong's natural expansion at his third base. So all in all, completely different to what we'd normally see, but uh, uh, we've, we did see quite a lot of these sort of shenanigans at IEM, so looking forward to casting a lot more of the games in the from this, from this, uh, oh, the word's escaping me momentarily, from the replay pack, and uh, try, and, try and give you guys a bit of an inkling, those of you who didn't manage to see the event, give you a bit of an idea of just, just some of the fun and games that occurred during the tournament. So Jadong now got a few lings out on the map, Not, uh, unfortunately not enough to quite clean out this cannon at his natural expansion just yet. Zergling speed halfway done, potential to seriously harass JYP's main or, or natural expansion. Once Zergling speeds up, there's quite open, no sentries on the map just yet. One on the way for JYP, this will really help him try and hold his hold his ramp for his main base, he, as he has no cannons or, or other things in his main or natural as of yet. So. Could, could seriously be a problem for JYP, particularly when speed finishes in just a moment. Looks like Jadong just cleaning up the cannon now, throwing down his natural expansion as well, and uh, returning to a semi-normal state of affairs now that uh, both players have cleaned out each other's 
uh, different tomfoolery at their naturals and, and thrown down their expansions. Though we do see it's a terrifically delayed sort of game. Normally a Zerg player would have three bases down or finishing up by around the five or six minute mark and the Protoss would have well and truly expanded. But uh, in, in this game, JYP just now getting, getting his getting his expansion up. Sentry manages a force field to f keep those Zerglings out. They're going to have to be careful now that the energy is substantially reduced on that Sentry. Going to want to wall this in as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, the Sentry is just going to have to tank for the moment. Mothership Core out of position, unfortunately. Could have helped there to work down these Zerglings, but uh, JYP obviously a little bit... a uh, little bit little bit concerned and uh, the Zerglings make a massive break into the main base so JYP actually going to potentially going to take a lot of damage here the Dark Shrine win behind Dark Shrine and uh, J JYP is going to take massive damage to his economy we see Jadong already up to 10 workers kills here one stalker going to try and kill a few of these Zerglings but the probes just are uh, being forced to fight these Zerglings over and over will the Dark Shrine go down if Jadong can focus this down he'll be at a significant advantage massive investment of time and resource, but look like JIP will just be able to save that by uh, the skin of its teeth there as it's sitting on 100 health. So JIP managing to hold that off, unfortunately taking fairly critical damage to his economy. 10 workers killed already as more Zerglings managed to make it into the natural expansion. Warped in Zealot's going to prevent the rest of these from making it through. A few Zerglings behind going to be trying to bring that uh, Bob the Zealot down, but trusty gate Gatekeeper not going to let it happen easy. Ni a nice wall from that sentry is going to keep the remainder of these Zerglings out, but they managed to take down the probe. Now the, now the Zerglings are going to kill the sentry as well, and Jaehoon just continuing to do so much damage with these Zergling run by as he establishes his own economy. If we check out the harvest tab, it is relatively even 30, 30 to 35 drones each, so actually not as big a differential as you would think, but with eight drones on the way, it looks like Jadong's going to take a substantial advantage very soon. The harass continuing in the main bases. Jadong actually up to 14 workers kill, and another, another probe may potentially go down here. Nice micro from JYP is going to keep those out. We have even more Zerglings heading for the main base. Stalker in the gateway is going to prevent a lot of that from uh, doing damage, and a zealot in the mineral line finally will clean up the last few Zerglings of Jadong, but that harass just cost JYP so much actions and effort and probe. So looks like Jadon got a fairly substantial start in this series, managing to pull ahead his Zergling Micro, uh, allowing him to get the edge in this this back and forth sort of uh, aggression that we have from both players. So we'll see if he manages to hold out. There's plenty yet that JYP can do to bring himself back into this game. It would, it is going to need a fair bit more production. We see a few gateways coming down now, so up up to five gates. Now, I'm surprised we, we don't see a robo or, or other tech structure come down. It sort of limits JYP to his standard gateway units and potentially Archons out of Dark Templar. So, a little, little bit limited. A, another gateway coming down is going to take us up to six. And uh, this, this stalk is going to try and force away the Overlord. But uh, I'm a little bit concerned for JYP as shortly Jadong is going to be producing masses of units. And... Uh, JYP is not, not going to have a whole lot to deal with them other than gateway units. And gateway units, while while great in the early game, do not fare well at all against the Roach Hydra sort of composition. And Jadong really seeming to favour the Roach Hydra lately. We already see that there there are a few Roaches on the way. 16 Zerglings on the field, 10 Roaches in production, as well as Burrow. So Jadong certainly a fan of the old Burrow Burrow technique, Burrow ambushing his opponent's army. But, uh, and JYP actually with, with no form of detection, so could could be fairly fairly dangerous for a burrowed roach ambush in this game. I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised to see Jadong do it. Has been doing a lot, particularly since it won him a game versus Deer last year. And it uh, looks like JYP may even want to move out with this, with a with a sentry stalker sort of force. And there's a little bit of a gamble knowing Jadong's uh, predisposition for counterattacks. We can all already see these roaches making their way up. Plenty of Zerglings here to do a lot of damage, and uh, we'll see if JYP can do some damage here. The Stalker's going to take a lot of damage from these Zerglings. Roach is going to be here to cut off the retreat, and there's a nice round from Jadong. Mothership Core going to mass recall out. Nice choice there by JYP, starting to take a lot of damage from Jadong. Jadong now barreling down towards the expansion of JYP. I don't know that Jadong has quite enough to crack this yet. The Roaches can take a lot of damage, but not really able to do sufficient DPS to to sort of take this out. Nice use of Burrow here though is going to really make these Roaches very cost efficient. You see them healing quite quickly here. Robo going down for JYP as he figures this is a threat now but it, it could well be too little too late. These these Roaches, uh, 
plethora of roaches on the field. Nice round as they unburrow on top of these fours. Lots of the zealots go down. Now the stalkers having to tank a lot of the roach damage. We see Jadong just continuing to play into this, and uh, JYP has lost substantially more than Jadong, and Jadong taps out of the game. So, what a crazy and unorthodox start to this series. Uh, uh, <laughs> We had everything from cannon rushes to uh, hatcheries in your opponent's natural. And uh, the, these two showing us that even against our own teammate, not afraid to mix it up and just bring us some of the craziest fun we've seen thus far. So uh, congrats to both players. Jadong taking game number one is a best of three series. We may we may cast some more of this series before moving on as I didn't catch it live and that was uh, a lot of fun for me. I hope it was fun for you as well. And uh, don't go anywhere, guys. We've got plenty of Heart of the Swarm action coming up right after this.